Okay, so in today's bite-sized CPD, we're going to be thinking about how you can develop some stock phrases to help you communicate calmly at times when you don't feel very calm. So we're thinking about those times when a child's having a bit of a like anxious or angry meltdown and tempers are kind of rising and you know that what you really need to do is to communicate calmly, but actually you feel like this. Okay, so what we know about calm communication, you can watch my other video on that should you wish to, is that essentially we wanna talk low, so kind of quieter and lowering the, the kind of pitch and slow. So I always like to think of those lovely audible narrations. So when you're listening to audiobooks and these people have these lovely velvety voices and they kind of almost like would lull you to sleep. So be thinking about communicating like that. Um, and then we're going to think about developing some phrases that you can use. Because if you develop some stock phrases, you can practice saying them. You can practice saying them when you're walking the dog, or when you're in the shower, or whatever. And you can practice saying them in your low, slow, calm voice. So that then, when you're feeling like this, you're able just to roll with those phrases because you've practiced it and you can tune everything else out and you can be the adult that that child needs you to be rather than the adult that you feel like inside. So sometimes we fake it till we make it, right? Okay, so the kinds of phrases that might work. This really can vary massively um, and it's great if you develop your own and we'll give you a couple of pause moments slightly later in the video for you to do that but just to kind of get you on board with the sorts of thing I'm thinking about the sorts of things that people have often told me works well for them are things around the fact that you're listening um, and things around the fact that the child is safe um, so we know that like anger and frustration likes to be heard so a child needs to know I'm listening, there's no need for you to kind of rant and rave and shout, I'm listening, I'm ready to listen. Um, or, you know, if they're anxious um, and, and really, really struggling and don't feel safe, they need to know, it's okay, you know, I've got this, you're safe. So um, phrases that people have shared with me in recent training that they have found to be effective for them, I care and I'm listening. So I care and I'm listening. Um, I'm ready to listen when you're ready to talk. That for me sounds a little bit passive aggressive. <laughs> I'm ready to listen when you're ready to talk. But actually, in the right circumstance, it's exactly what a child needs to hear. You know, once you're calm enough to communicate, I'm gonna be here and listening. So I'm ready to listen when you're ready to talk. Uh, next, you're safe, I've got you. Um, a, a teaching assistant in a recent uh, Twilight session I was teaching told me how her colleague always said this to a particular child um, and that it always soothed this child and she would just hold her and say, it's, it's okay, you're safe, I've got you, you're safe, I've got you. Um, and the colleague had no idea that she did it, she just did it on automatic pilot and so that was a really lovely moment. So, you're safe, I've got you. Um, and then the simple it's going to be okay. Sometimes that's what we all need to hear, so it's going to be okay. So our, our kind of suggestive phrases, you can pick them apart, maybe you hate them, but so, um, I care and I'm listening, I'm ready to listen when you're ready to talk, you're safe, I've got you, and it's going to be okay. So I wanna pause for a moment and give you a chance to have a think about the kind of phrases that you can imagine using that might work for the children and young people in your care. So what feels right to you? Okay, take a moment, what phrases might work for you? Okay, so once you've had a think about the kind of phrases that might work for you, then it can be really useful to share them back and maybe actually agree on a few that you might use as a team because it can be really helpful sometimes for children to have that kind of predictability and consistency. Um, and also if you've got these kind of agreed phrases that you all feel comfortable using, whether that's kind of across the board or with a specific child, um, that can be really helpful. So maybe have a think if there are like two or three phrases that you might all share as a staff body that you might all try to use. So have a think. Okay, um, and then the other thing is that as well as having kind of stock phrases um, for kind of use with everyone, it can be really helpful to identify if there are individual pupils who might need specific tailored input here. Now, you might want to think about what phrases work well for them, and what can work really well here is actually asking them. So at a time of calm, you can ask them, what kind of things is it helpful for you, for you to hear when you're feeling um, kind of overwhelmed? What things help you or what things have helped in the past? And if the child's not able to articulate that, then maybe kind of 
talking amongst colleagues and noticing what's worked well or less well in the past. So what I want you to do now is just to have a think about if there are any individual children that you want to do this for and what is your plan with them? Do you have an idea about the phrases you might use already? Is there anything that's working well that you can share? Or do you think that there's a way that you can work with them to work out what those phrases might be? So identify the child or children and think about what your next steps are going to be to work out the phrases for that child. Okay, so hopefully that gives you some ideas, some food for thought. Remember that this will work best if you develop a few stock phrases, if you practice them regularly. So remember in the shower, walking the dog, whatever, you practice saying your phrases in a low, slow, calm voice. Remember thinking about these lovely dulcet tones of our narrators of audiobooks and so on and so forth. Imagine that you are narrating something on Radio 4. Um, and so practice saying them at times of calm and then when you need those phrases then you have practiced this already and remember that when a child is distressed that what they need more than anything is for you to be kind of supportive and calm and yes you might not feel like that but if you are able to use this stock phrases idea to enable you to appear supportive and calm then that enables you to be the adult that that child needs at that time and hopefully will help both you and the child to be better able to manage those moments when things go a little bit interesting. Good luck. I would love to hear what stock phrases you are using and whether you're developing team phrases or if you're doing individualised. Let me know how you get on with it. Leave it in comments below um, and do remember that lots of different people watch these videos so if you share your ideas if something's working well for you or things that aren't working so well, leave them in a comment below because it's a great gift to others who are using this too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Um, please do subscribe and you will be kept up to date with my new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Cool. See you next time. Bye.